Hello friends, this is software engineering fundamentals. Nature of software, software engineering principles, the software process and software myths. These are the points which we have discussed in our today's lecture. The process models. There is a generic process model in that also prescriptive process models we have to learn in this topic. The first one is the waterfall model. Incremental process that is simply called, we called it as a RAD model. Evolutionary process model, unified process model and concurrent models. These are the prescriptive process models we are learning in this session. Advanced process models and tools. In that agile software development. Agile methods, plan driven and agile development, extreme programming practices, testing in XP, pair programming. Friends, introduction to agile tools in that Jira and Kanban. These two are, we are learning. The case studies in that an information system, that is mental health care system, these are the case studies. The software engineering fundamentals, in that nature of software, software engineering principles, the software process, and software myths. These four points we have to learn in the software engineering fundamentals. Next, the process model. A generic process model. Friends, prescriptive process models. In that, these five models we are learning. First one is waterfall model. Incremental process, that is RAD model evolutionary process model, unified process model, and concurrent models. The advanced process models and tools. Agile software development, agile methods, plan driven and agile development, extreme programming practices, testing in XP, pair programming, these are the advanced process models and tools. Software engineering fundamentals. Nature of software, software engineering principles, the software process and software myths. These four points we have to learn. First of all, number one, the nature of software. Friends, software plays a dual role, that is, it is a product and at the same time, the vehicle for delivering the product. This is the nature of software. Second, software is an information transformer, that means producing, managing, acquiring, modifying, displaying, or transmitting the informations. For example, Microsoft Office, Paint, PDF, Creator, Media, Players, etc. These are the examples. Friends, as a vehicle to use to deliver the product, operating system, 
the windows xp and linux etc are the operating systems used to deliver the product software tools and environments for example visual study 2008 netbeans eclipse defining the software this is the definition of software that is software is a instruction data structures and descriptive informations in the instructions instruction is a computer programs that when executed provide desired features function and performance data structure in that data structure enables programs to adequately manipulate information and the descriptive information in a hard copy and virtual virtual form that describes the operation and use of the programs this is the definition of simple definition of software the nature of software first system software system software is a collection of programs written to service other programs for example compilers editors assemblers operating system they establishes communication with the hardware in the nature of second software number 2 application software that is the stand alone programs developed for specific business needs this software may be supported by database system friends in the application software we take an example as a microsoft office media player number third that is engineering scientific software that means these software are based on complex numeric applications used as a tools for special purpose for example matlab vika scilab controls features and functions for end user and for the system itself for example robots drones the number 5 that is web applications it contains web pages that can be retrieved by a browser the web pages can be developed using programming languages like java prl cgi html dhtml number 6 artificial intelligence software it is based on knowledge based expert system used in robotics expert systems image and voice recognition artificial neural networks theorem providing and game playing friends there are many software myths first one is management myth customer myth partitioner myths these are the common myths in the software first that is management myths we already have a book that's full of standards and procedures for building software but won't that provide my people with everything they need to know or the members of an organization can acquire all the information they require from a manual which contains standards procedures and principles this is the management myth but the reality is that standards are often incomplete inadaptable and outdated next developers are often unaware of all the established standards and the developers rarely follow all the known standards 
this is the reality in the management myth number second myth if we get behind schedule we can add more programmers and reduce the time gap but the reality is that adding more manpower to the project which is already behind schedule further delays the project friends the new workers take longer to learn about the project as compared to those already working on the project the third software myth that is if i decide to outsource the software project to a third party i can just relax and let that firm build it no but the reality is that outsourcing software to a third party does not help the organization that means which is incompetent in managing controlling and maintaining the software project internally this is the third software myth friends here the customer myth in the customer myth number 1 that is brief requirement stated in the initial process is enough to start development the detailed requirements can be added at the later stages but the reality is that starting development with incomplete and ambiguous requirements often lead to software failures instead a complete and formal description of requirements is essential before starting the development adding requirements at the later stages often requires repeating the entire development process this this is nothing but the customer myth there is a second myth that is software is a flexible hence software requirement changes but it can be added during any phase of development process this is the software myth that is software is a flexible but friends the reality is that incorporating change request earlier in the development process cost lesser than those that occur at later stages this is because incorporating changes later may require this designing and extra resources this is second software myth partitioners myths in that once we write the program and get it to work our job is done but reality is that 50% to 70% of all the efforts are expanded after the software is delivered to the user the only deliverable work product for a successive project is the working program to make the project successful the documentation and software configuration also plays crucial role in the software development process number third software engineering requires unnecessary documentation which slows down the project but the reality is that proper documentation enhances quality which results in reducing the amount of rework soft number 4 that is software quality can be assessed only after the program is executed but the reality is that the 
quality of software can be measured during any phase of development process by applying some quality assurance mechanism one such mechanism is formal technical review that can be effectively used during each phase of development to uncover certain errors this is the reality in the software myth 